Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name's Vin Pf, and on today's episode we're heading up north, up to the Orkney Islands, checking out the second distillery on the island. Now that's only really fair to say because the Highland Park distillery has been around for so long, but the uh, the funny thing about Scapa over here is that although um, for, for me personally I only really heard about them a couple of years ago, and you'd be forgiven for not hearing about them yourself, but they've actually been around since the 1880s, which is a really long time. But they've had a bit of a kind of turmoil history. They've been mothballed. They've been bought out. They've changed hands a few times. They've been refurbished. And finally, they've uh, found themselves in the ownership of uh, Shivers Brothers, a.k.a. Perno Ricard. And now we've got a bit of consistency going on. And we've got stuff like this coming out. This right here is the Skirin, which means glittering bright skies in Old Norse. And I know what you're thinking. Orkney Islands, Old Norse, here we go again, another Highland Park thing. And that's probably not that fair to say, although I have to say I'm a bit tired of the old uh, kind of Norsey vibes coming out of Highland Park right now. You'll probably see I haven't covered a lot of Highland Park on the channel. That's a whole other story for another day. But I promise you that's kind of where the whole Norsey vibes stop. There's a lot of Norse history going on in Orkney, so you have to forgive them a little bit of uh, that kind of Norse stuff. But as you can see from the, the kind of liveries and the stuff that's going on here, they're not going hard on that just one of those little things. So before we actually get into this whiskey, how I came about this one, uh, sometimes obviously I get bottles come through uh, from marketing departments and whatnot. This one's a little bit different actually. This one's come from a, a fan of the show and uh, dare I say a friend now, a guy called James Palmer. Uh, and he saw my um, relatively hidden, but not that well hidden Amazon wish list. Uh, that's actually available on my website. I don't make a big thing out of it, and I thought I haven't even mentioned it yet, and I thought I would just mention it the first time somebody bought something from it, uh, which he's done. So there you go. He's uh, bought that, and I'll review, review those things, and I'll give you a shout-out on the channel if you do want to do that sort of thing. Uh, that said, of course, I uh, don't endorse um, Amazon much uh, at the moment, so... Uh, you know, if you do ever want to kind of get a bottle of whiskey to me, then let me know and we'll figure something out. You don't have to go through Amazon if you don't want to. So this right here then is a relatively cheap entry level whiskey. Um, it's a 40 percenter. It's, uh, I guess, probably going to be chill filtered and I'm guessing added colour. I don't know that sort of thing, um, mainly because why, why wouldn't you? If you're going to do 40 percent, why wouldn't you chill filter? Uh, the weird thing about this is that it's 100 percent first fill ex bourbon casks now that's not a cheap thing to do usually if you're going to create something that's like 40 percent odd you would probably use a refill cask just to cut your costs down a little bit uh, and i have to say right from the off i'm a little perplexed why they've gone to the effort of having a hundred percent first fill casks and then only releasing at 40 percent but as you'll see as we get through this one the price is, is pretty much right, you know, it's roughly £35 for this bottle, although, as James will tell you, if you look out for your Amazon deals and whatnot, you can get it much cheaper. Uh, this one came out in 2015. In 2016, they released a kind of peated version called the Glancer, which I will get to at some point. That's a lot of wittering on, a couple of minutes worth. Let's get on to the actual tasting and see what we've got. Now, I don't often talk about colour on the channel unless I know that it um, actually hasn't added colour, but as soon as we don't know... We'll move on from that, even if it looks fairly nice. Let's get onto the nose then. Oh, now this has got a a light nose for sure, but it's a really, really flavorful nose. It's lots of honeys, lots of apples, some citrusy elements going on there, really lovely. Let's try on the palette. Mm -hmm. More of those honeys coming through more of those citrusy notes. We're talking more on the, t the sides of kind of lemons and limes rather than oranges when we're talking about citrus there. Cool thing about this is there's lots of heathery notes in there and there's some vanillas and some cinnamon spices going on as well. Hmm. Now in terms of finish, it's not very long, I would say short um, and a little thin I might add, but um, generally speaking, as a complete package, including the price that we've been talking about, it's it's a pretty good dram. I'm enjoying this. Um, that said, as you can see, I've uh, enjoyed a fair amount of this so far. I've tried it in different situations. Um, and if you're going to drink something like this, if you're going to buy something like this, and I, and I encourage you to do so, um, if, you know, if, if, you, if you've got the money to do such, such things, then please do purchase it. It's a pretty good whiskey. But know where it's going to fit into your evening. 
Um, I would recommend this as a, a whiskey to start your evening if you're if you're into drinking a few whiskies of an evening. Um, sometimes if you drink something that's a little bit uh, stronger, a little bit higher in ABV or a little bit stronger in flavour profile, then it's going to overshadow this. And if you try this one second, you're probably going to think, mm, I don't like that so much. That's what happened to me when I was doing my research on this thing. The other thing to note about this is this is absolutely quintessential guard whiskey material. Now, if you've been watching the show for any length of time, you'll know what I mean. But if you don't, I've kind of coined this phrase called guard whiskey, where essentially you've got your really, really nice whiskey. It could be something that you just love. It could be expensive. It could be rare, whatever. You know, even if it's something that's fairly cheap, but you just love it and you don't want to drink it so quickly. You put that at the back of your cabinet and you put something like this in front of it so that when you go mooching for a dram, if you do what I do, which is like, I fancy a dram. I don't know what yet. And I go looking in my cabinet and I go rummaging around. And I've got this kind of like Ikea Kallax thing. So it's difficult to get the ones at the back. So I end up just picking the ones that are at the front just for ease purposes. So I have to go rummaging around. That's why I put something like this. Guard whiskies. It stops me from going to get the really expensive stuff at the back. And that stuff lasts for longer. This stuff doesn't last very long. Goes down to the bottom and then gets replaced relatively cheaply instead of me drinking all of that stuff. There you go. Guard whiskies. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoy that because it's something that I, I really enjoy talking about and I know people like to do a similar thing. Coming back to this whiskey then, this is a very good whiskey for sure. Um, it, it, it knows its place. Um, it could definitely do with being higher in ABV uh, and I wouldn't mind paying a few quid more for that privilege because the first fill casks in this are having a, an excellent time and it just needs a little bit more to make it something that's going to you just really want to really get your teeth into but apart from that aside it's genuinely speaking a very good whiskey that is definitely worth your time and if the price is right if you get it on a deal it's an absolute no-brainer hi there welcome to no nonsense whiskey my name is vim pf and on today's episode we're having ugh, gotta warm up first hang on hi there